Welcome properly to Portland. We're in our hotel right now. We're staying at the Hotel Vintage. It's kind of late, you guys. I gotta admit, this vlog is starting late in the day. It's almost 11, but it's not because we've been up to anything exciting. We really slept in today. And I am trying to export my vlog um, from yesterday and it's taking forever. So we're gonna go grab some coffee. And I thought I would show you my outfit before we kind of head out and then I forget. Um, so by the way, today I'm wearing my YSL number 10 that I just purchased. They're really nude color. It's the Rouge Peel. I'll link it down below. I'm loving it. I think it's so awesome. It's really creamy for a nude and I just think it looks really nice, which is really rare for me to find a nude that I like. So my sweater is from Zadi Gevante. It's from Halt Renfrew and I got it in their Black Friday sale. I don't know if it's available online, but that was really neat and different and it's really pretty forest green. Then I'm wearing some page black jeans and same booties as yesterday. My Mulberry Lily Medium bag, which fits a lot, you'd be surprised. And off we go. What we're gonna do right now, um, I have it over on the bench right there, is we're gonna go to the post office as well to send off the prize for Vlogmas Day 9, 10, or something like that a couple days ago when I did the London Drugs giveaway. So let's go off and do that. Yeah, so we're now in Stumptown and this is a giveaway prize. I had to stick it in a dry cleaning bag from the hotel because it's pouring rain and we thought we'd get some coffee before we go to the post office. We also had a major drama where there were literally no umbrellas in the hotel and we didn't bring one so we had to go buy one and I'll show it to you later. It's pretty hilarious and it's tiny so that means that my hair is definitely gonna be wet today but um, yeah I thought I would show you Stumptown. It's pretty cool in here. Just waiting for my coffee. Chris really really likes the coffee from here. And we're in quite a cool neighborhood with a lot of little boutiques not too far from the hotel. Come to Mama! Look how pretty that latte is the park is. It's very cool. So look at what we just did. Photo booth! It's in the hotel right next to Stumptown Coffee. And our photos are supposed to come out here in three minutes. It's probably been one minute now. I'm really excited. Except for the first one, I totally wasn't even barely sitting down because it went so fast. It's kind of cool, right? Look guys, aren't these awesome? They're actually really wet and stinky right now because they're like old fashioned photos and it's black and white, which is really cool looking. And this is the first one, isn't that hilarious? It's just a total like <laughs> fail. Um, but the other ones are pretty awesome. What do you guys think? I'm not sure what to do with them. I kind of want to frame them or something rather than just put them in a wallet and they'll get all crumpled. But I'm definitely gonna like treasure them. What a fun memento. Look guys, we found this really cool little arcade. So apparently Boxer Ramen behind me is a really good place. We were talking about maybe going there for brunch, but mostly I just wanted to show you this because it's so cool. It's like a whole little row of shops, which is very kind of European feeling to me. Here, I can take my coffee. Shall we move forward? Yeah. Let's go check this out, guys. Um, and it's all wood and just really cool. I feel like they really make an effort with making things look nice here when they build or like open new stores. And look, Hidden Ace, of course. We found our way there. But probably not a good way to spend my shopping time given that we have a whole bunch of them in Vancouver and that's where it started. Um, but here it is. And they have succulents on the wall, of course, because how could it be a good hipster shopping arcade if it does not have succulents growing on it? This place is so cool, I love it. A little festive, festiveness. Of course we got ramen because it's ramen. I mean, what more needs to be said? The place is so cool, it's a really cool bar. Trying to keep that in mind while I eat. And then here is the main event. How good does that look? It's got a soft poached egg and it's spicy miso ramen. And Chris got the same thing, of course. Well, hello everyone. So we are currently in a haven of safety from the rain and our broken umbrella has resulted in this new half wavy, half straight look for me, which is especially fabulous. And I also realized I don't have a hair elastic. So, you know, that's really joyful. But um, other than that, I'm currently in Tory Burch cheering myself up. And um, I found this cardigan that I really like. Check out the buttons on it. It's like 
all jeweled and cool i really like it and it's cashmere and on sale so very tempted we'll see what the price is like i need to check and then i have a dress to try on as well and we'll see how that fits so you guys i am a good beauty guru after all because i had a hair elastic in my bag and i managed to do some kind of messy bun and i feel much better just with my ratty hair out of my face so um i thought i would show you what pioneer place looks like it's a kind of upscale mall for portland i've been here before when i came here a couple years back and i have a shopping tip for you as well so um i purchased that cardigan that i showed you from tori birch i can show it up to you like close up a little bit more later it would make a really nice christmas gift for someone too because it's kind of christmasy but not too much uh, and it was on a really good sale but um i left chris at tory birch because they actually gave him a beer which was really nice the service is really nice in there and he did not really want to come with me um to victoria's secret the pink beacon of underwear that's in front of me um so i'm gonna go there now and i'm on a mission to find really cute, sorry, um, Christmas pajamas. So I'm gonna go do that. And I thought that was a good shopping tip for you for your brothers, husbands, boyfriends, um, who may not want to come along with you. Just go shopping at Tory Burch, a place for them to hang out. Because Victoria's Secret, it would not be very nice to hang out at for a guy because there's nowhere to sit. It's full of underwear everywhere. It's kind of girly. Look at me all fixed up for dinner. We're gonna go and look for some happy hours around Portland. And I'm actually wearing a brand new dress that I got from Millie, which was on sale at Nordstrom. I'm kind of obsessed with it, I have to say. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it was because it's just so nicely fitted and it has a really pretty print and I did pair it with my own belt as well, um, which is a vintage belt. It was on a really good sale. I think it came down to around like $60 or something like that. Um, and I wish I could link it for you, but I'll try and find something that's similar because I'm pretty sure it's sold out everywhere now. Um, and yeah, I just have my Commando Stay Up Tights and my Zara heels that are kind of blending into the carpet a little bit. Still my Mulberry bag and vintage coats. So again, we're kind of going for like a fun romantic um, 70s type of look and I did some good shopping today. So I'll show you guys what I got um, a little bit later because right now I know we want to head off. Chris is actually waiting for me downstairs in the games room, whatever that is. <laughs> um, so I thought I would show you a quick peek of our hotel room. It's a really nice room. Um, I just wish the service here was a little bit better. Like they had no umbrellas. Um, and someone barged into our room this morning wanting to refill the mini bar without really knocking. So, you know, there have been a couple of things that have been off, but otherwise it's a really beautiful hotel. So I thought I would show it to you on our way out today and see like they didn't really clean the room very well because we had some champagne yesterday. So I don't want to be too difficult, but um, I did want to show it to you and give you an honest review because it is a nice um, spacious room and a lot of um, hotel rooms in Portland are actually really small and it has a great selfie mirror too. So you can't fault that um so yeah oh i also wanted to show you this check out the creepy man in the washroom how weird is that i don't know what that is um but it's kind of stylish and cool all right so we're heading out uh, the games room was closed and they do have some live music in the lobby which is kind of cool and then this is the neighborhood for our hotel it's, it's definitely an area with a lot of hotels because there's a marriott over there and then over here is Hotel Lucia, which is also um, pretty popular, I think. Um, but the rates were better at this one. So that's where we chose. All right, guys, so you're literally an inch from my face so that you can hear me and kind of see me. It's super, super dark in here. It's like a really sultry underground bar called Pepe Le Moco. And I just really wanted to document this because this, here is my first espresso martini and it's really really good and we also are doing kind of a fun dinner tonight in that we are having dinner in reverse so we're starting with dessert because that's what we felt like and I wanted to show it to you because it looks really tasty it's a strawberry pie and here's the name of the restaurant on the menu as well so you can see it's kind of a fun name and it's got this really cool bar refill 
just like we're in the 1920s, except we did not need a password to get down here, only a piece of ID, of course. All right, guys, so we're on to our next stop yeah. of our food tour in reverse. Um, and we're at a place called Cheesy. I'll show you how it's spelled. Um, and we have an omakase cheese board. So it's like when you go to one of those sushi places and they give you whatever they feel like you should eat. Yeah. And it looks amazing. And it comes, or well, we ordered some sherry, and then the cheeses were kind of paired to go with that. And she explained all of the different flavors. Um, and yeah, here's the menu. Do you want to hold it up, Chris, so they can see? There we go. So that's the name of this place. It's like a Japanese cheese bar. It's like a sushi bar where all of the fish is replaced by cheese and all of the rice is replaced by bread. Yeah, you put it very well. I guess I won't use it then. Can't. <laughs> I'll just do like take down a Google. Am I your paparazzi now? <laughs> How are you gonna speed up the walk home if you're pointing at me? I don't know. You're distracting me. Why don't you film the Herbert Hotel? The what? That's not the Heathman, that's the B something. Oh. Bowden? Benson. Benson. <laughs> The Heathman is somewhere else. I don't, know. I don't know. What do I know? It's not the pervert hotel. It's just where they film Fifty Shades. Oh my God. Good morning, everyone. So we're just in the lobby right now. Chris is checking out, and we are starting our last day here in Portland. We do have a very late flight, though. It doesn't check in until 9.30 and leave at 10 p.m., which means I'll be exhausted tomorrow. But at least we'll have a little bit more time here, which will be really nice. Um, so what's our mission now? Donuts. We're going to get donuts. It's happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really excited guys. I've heard really good things about this place, so let's go. And hopefully... Go what? Yeah, Chris totally cheated and he went without me. Did you have one though? What did you have? Uh, raspberry and rosemary. How is it? Fantastic. Yeah? Okay, I really... And some coffee. I need to have one. Um, so this place is called Blue Star and it's supposed to be amazing. And it's not very far from us either. It's like six minutes walk. So we're gonna start our day off with coffee and a donut. Yes. Yes, we're here. The donut promised land. Oh, and people are eating donuts and they don't like being filmed. They're gonna film them anyway. Yes, yes. I'm gonna have a lemon. Well, that one's lemon as well. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay, well, what other one do you want? Blueberry bourbon basil, that was the famous one. Right? Okay, I'll get that one in the lemon. I think. Do you want to share those two? Is there anything you wanted to try? Uh, no, I think it's fine. I had the, I had the raspberry rosemary butter milk last time. You know, I like chocolate. Though. What is OGO? Just original? I guess. Probably, yeah. uh, I do like chocolate. So that's you want a chocolate one? Let's get three and share that. Here are choices. So this is blueberry, lemon poppy seed, and Valrhona chocolate. Hey guys, so we are now in front of Pal's Books. Is right behind me. Probably like I don't know one of the state's most famous bookstores. I think. Yes. Why is it famous though? I don't even know. I think it's the world's biggest independent bookstore. Okay, that's really cool. Um, and we just went back to that little arcade from yesterday. Chris, do you want to show them what you got? Isn't this pretty? Do you know what kind of leather it is? No, I've got no idea. I feel like we've
we should go back and ask but these were actually on sale and they're really nice and they have a lifetime guarantee on the stitching which I thought was really cool. They're just like really cool, simple little pouches. Super, super soft. And let me show you the name of it in case you're interested. It's called Will and it's made in Eugene, Oregon. So we are now walking around the Pearl District and I just wanted to show you these buildings because they're so cool and old. There's a lot of the old signage left over and I just love how much brick there is all around Portland. And this whole area is kind of filled with little boutiques, some vintage, some homeware. Hi guys, so we are just hanging out in the games room right now in the hotel. We just came back because it is pouring so hard um, that we just got soaked and it's honestly just now that I'm starting to get dry, we've been back for about an hour. I'm um, just kind of hanging out watching um, random infomercials and old shows on silent um, and mostly playing shuffleboard which is surprisingly difficult and we're both really really bad at. And here is our delicious dinner. So we have a pappardelle with lamb and a sundae sauce rigatoni and it's all fresh pasta as you can see from this amazing display. Thank you. It's probably unfortunately loud here so I won't keep you for very long but I thought that I would quickly sign off and thank you for coming along on our Portland trip with us. We had a lot of fun. It was very, very rainy. I would definitely want to come back when the weather is better. Um, like last time I came when it was September, it's just more fun to walk around. But we have eaten and drunk amazing food and cocktails while we were here, which is good for us because it's something that we really enjoy, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. I will try my best to edit this video on the plane for your Monday morning viewing pleasure. And I will see you in Vlogmas Day 14. 14.